it seems like we prepare for just about everything else in life. But nobody grows up thinking they'll get breast cancer or some kind of cervical cancer. It's not the kind of thing you plan for. Joan grew up thinking she'd be a nun. And when she got married, it was to a young man who, like her, grew up thinking he'd someday become a priest. Funny how things work out. God always seems to have another plan. His plan? Well, it included a lot of beautiful children and a very busy life. By the time their youngest was done with college, Joan thought she'd finally be able to pursue a lifelong goal of training to run in a marathon. But that's when cancer struck. These days we tend to make breast cancer sound almost like the common cold, but it's not. It's deadly, and Joan had it pretty rough. Bilateral mastectomy, chemotherapy, and reconstruction. Two years went by, and that's when it happened. Joan Lennon, cancer survivor, entered the marathon and finished. Not long after that, St. Joseph Regional Medical Center came up with an idea to put a group of cancer survivors together called the Women's Task Force. But they needed a leader, someone who was respected and admired, someone who was known for getting things done. Joan Lennon was the perfect choice. So she was offered a salary and an office. Joan's response, absolutely not. She'd only accept the position if she could do it without pay. So, for the next 10 years, Joan Lennon would serve as the volunteer coordinator of the Women's Task Force of St. Joseph Regional Medical Center. In this role, she'd work tirelessly to raise money for other women throughout the community who desperately need life-saving mammograms, cervical cancer screenings, and support, and in the process, she surrounded herself with some of the most ambitious, hardworking, driven leaders that this community has ever seen. All of them, cancer survivors themselves. Calendars, public service announcements, events like the Secret Sisters Luncheon, the Papathon, these women have been going non-stop for over a decade. This is the Women's Task Force. Together, they've raised hundreds of thousands of dollars. And yes, they've saved countless lives. Cancer is still an ugly, rotten disease, but God didn't let it take Joan. He had another plan for Joan. And part of that plan just had to be the Women's Task Force. So thank you, Joan, and thank God for Joan Lennon.